is Charlie from Adventures with Charlie and today hey, I'm going to give you, you a review of a film I saw in the cinema today which was Captain Dog's Porsche Night. Right. Set in the world of where there's no truce between the cats and dogs. Oh, Squen the cat and Roger the dog work out for all the feet. Barry and, and a more rival determination, or for sure, but <laughs> something like that's pretty funny. Me, however, but, but there could, could be a war between the two species. She's around the world as an in, international pet hour wants the other pets to have their time to shine. I I'm sure so that the do dogs and cats will become the other pets. And so it's up up to Gwen and Roger to bring out a team in to s stop this villain. villain. I wouldn't say I've watched the other two cats and dogs movies, movies but I, I, admit that I was pretty intrigued to see this movie. The concept of, of a world a old way if our cats and dogs get along, I'm going to seek for agents to stop up this evil villain. Long without the, out their own, there's no. Oh, it may seem unoriginal, but it did always seem like an interesting con concept. And we got an enjoyable movie out of it. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it is enjoyable. First off, I love what they did with the characters, especially the, the, the buddy cop aspect that's with Gwen and Roger. So, they both often are just monitors. So, but uh, they all they both both have, have their dream. Gwen wants to go out out in the world. Oh, to prove she's more than just a monitor agent and more like a feel agent. And well, Roger Joe has to, to go over back out after his past parts with his lost partner. But the relationship between these two can be enjoyable, especially how they give him a unique relationship. If where sometimes times they they would be found in the disagreement, but a lot of times they they'll be found working out their disagreements. Other characters this movie usually offers are their own. You no, know? Rogers, Rogers is a boy named Max, who's a great great tennis player, but think it's it's his friend. On the low and stuff. Uh, and and Zoe, we I don't um, go. <laughs> oh, who wants wants to try help her father? Oh, uh, Grant, on dog. Alpha with his, her music business, so she doesn't have to move away away from Gwen. There's also Pablo, who's the villain of the feature, to and the criminal mastermind. <laughs> I'm, it's a, well, admit he's not not the greatest villain in these type of buddy cop movies. He is a lot of fun, um, especially when he tries to be the most most menacing villain the world has ever seen. themselves but rather they're acting. The actors did, a, did an okay job, don't get me wrong. It's just some of them I feel like they had had a lot of potential yet they the actors didn't don't want to show it. Oh it not saying they're bad but they could have made it a bit more interesting. Now what got me into this movie 
Who was the unique concept, like I said before? How did the concept for you really feel ill for me? Well, it's actually really executed really well. Oh. It was how the two plots working together. There's one plot which is really enjoyable, the main plot where the plot where the cat Arrington does have to stop up this evil for criminal mastermind. Mind part below. Well the other third is with the map. And at as the pet Etch tried to, to help them out. Al and have friends with each other. Uh, but I'll admit it, that the uh, Max and Joey are nice characters, but their sub so, so plot could have been used for a better movie. I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but it seems like your typical subplot that was just pushed in at the last minute. However, the main plot are to take Thanks a lot of interesting ideas. Yes, while we have seen it, this kind of plot before, to the point where at some moments can feel like, like you know what's going to happen, there are some moments and that are unexpected, plus very unique of how they're executed to, 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 to as well. Even, even a good, what, what a beauty to the end, beauty to both, of can't of the city, city and the relationships with it between at 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 and the friend and ship between Roger and Gwen. There's also the visuals, which I, I didn't expect much, uh, since around the world this is ju just a directed video movie. See? But on its own, the visuals are nice. They don't offer for too much, which is disappointing, since they did have, have potential. However, what they do offer is something really creative. And some something really unique and impressive. If, if it's true, it was some of these um, I can't out all the more the art was kind of amazing, but it was nice of the instead of uh, making the animals all out of CGI. Well I'm using real animals which which is something I think more movies should do. So overall, I wouldn't say it's am amazing, but th then again, it still is an enjoyable movie. Cats and Dogs Porsche Night is a is an is a decent and fun uh, film. Uh, while I wouldn't say it's amazing, amazing with a subplot uh, that I was pushed in at the last minute. And some acting that's fine but needs proving. The rest, as the art, are pretty good. Oh, the, the story's got a nice plot to it. it. The visuals are pretty good. Oh, and, and the characters are likeable and really enjoyable. But I recommend this to, to fans of, of films about animals because they're going to gonna really have a good time with this. Heck, you don't even need to see the other two movies. I, mean, I say this is a, is a good standalone adventure for for movie. As far as move, movies about our pets would go, oh oh, this is certainly one of the, the enjoyable ones, and that's why I'm giving it a rating of a seven out of ten. Not amazing. But it still ha has its 
enjoyment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.